Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Uh, so we're going ahead to uh, learn the basic concept of the general equation of a line. This is the first video for coordinate geometry. So my name is Pushpinder Gill and this here is my email address. It's pushpinder08 at gmail.com. Don't uh, forget to contact me or give your valuable feedback. And do not forget to like us on Facebook. The Facebook link would be on our channel page, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, start. Uh, with the general form of an equation. Now, uh, what uh, is, let's suppose this is a point, right? Let's suppose this is known as, this this line here is known as the y-axis, right? This line is known as the y-axis and this line over here is known as the x-axis, okay? So this line over here is known as the x-axis and this point over here where the x-axis and y-axis meet it's known as the origin now why it is named as the origin because it has the points 0 and 0 the coordinate of x and the coordinate of y is 0 in this in this uh, at this point you can say that so this point can be say okay this point is y is 1 and the x is 0 at this line at this at y axis x is supposed to be 0 at this line on y axis x is 0 and on x axis y is 0 so whichever the point lies on in this parameter in this parameter so it is going to give you the coordinates of that point so if you can see clearly here a is a point which lies here and it has coordinates two coordinates x coordinate and y coordinate which defines the position of the point in the plane so what do you get from the x and y coordinate now it states that it is this much high and this it's this shows its y coordinate and this gives its x coordinate so every point let's suppose uh, this is y equal to 1 this is y equal to 2 uh, this is x equal to 1 and this is x equal to 2 so let's suppose i have to draw a point 2 and 2 so i'm going to draw a point of 2 and 2 now always whenever uh, something is given to you this is uh, the cartesian product the cartesian for, uh, form of showing the points so this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate i hope it's very simple you are able to understand what i'm trying to explain here so if i have to draw two two points so x would be two that means x is two it comes here and y is two it comes here so the point two and two is going to lie right here okay so because this is also two and this is also two and whenever I write in this form, the x coordinate comes first and then comes the y coordinate. Now let's see. Now every, uh, uh, what is a line actually? A point is a point. A line is uh, a certain combination of few points. So let's suppose if I draw this line over here like this. Now this line contains all the points over here. All the points constitute this line right so a line constitutes of many points so if you're able to understand how a point is formed you'll be able to better understand how a line is formed now let me show you uh, let me show you one thing over here now let's suppose this is a line right and we have chosen two points at the line so the first point is uh, that is a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 right so these are the two points which lie on the uh, on the line so what do you get from this now let me just go ahead and calculate the general form of equation for you before that i need to show you what slope is what does the slope measure in a line so if you just draw back if you just draw back the line and clash it with the x-axis the angle that it makes now over here it's making an angle of alpha with the x-axis the tangent theta of the line of the angle it will give you the slope and it's usually measured by m right so let's suppose i have this line over here once i draw it backwards to x-axis and once i get this angle alpha or beta or whatever is it and once i calculate the tangent of that angle this is going to give me the slope it can be any line let's suppose the line is like this so you just draw that line and you calculate the angle made by uh, by the line and the x-axis and you calculate the tangent of the angle and then you're able to identify the slope 
So this is the basic definition of slope. I'm not showing you uh, the methods to calculate slope, though one of the methods is this method. However, there are many other methods with which you can calculate slope, which we'll be doing in further videos. So slope is denoted by M and is the tangent of the angle, which is formed when you draw the line uh, to the x-axis, whenever that line clashes with the x-axis, right? So this is about slope. The second thing that you require uh, while forming an equation of a line is the intercept of the line, right? So what is known as the intercept of the line? So intercept of the line, I'll show you. Let's suppose I again take these two points, right? And I again draw it backwards. Now, uh, so what is intercept? Now intercept is whenever x is equal to 0, the value of y gives you the intercept and it is denoted by c. As you can see from this line here, this this line clashes or uh, meets the y-axis at this point. So this is going to give me the intercept, right? So intercept is the point whenever x is equal to 0, the value of intercept will be the value of the y-coordinate. So this is going to be, this point is going to be 0 and c. Now always, when in the whenever the intercept is there, the value of x coordinate will always be 0 because it is it intercept is always lies on the y-axis Now let's suppose the line is this so what I have to do is I have to draw it backwards to the x-axis uh, y-axis and then I have to see how much it is uh, how much the how much is the value of the y-coordinate and that will go is going to give me the intercept of the line and this intercept is denoted by the alphabet C right so now we have done two things we have done the value, uh, we have done how what is slope and we have defined what is an intercept. Now let's see what is the general form of an equation is. So general form of an equation always is y is equal to mx plus c, right? So m over here is going to be your slope and c over here it's going to be your intercept. So all the lines all the lines are going to satisfy with this general form of equation and every line has its unique equation because uh, each line is going to have uh, unique equations if two lines have the same equations then the two lines are similar lines and every point on that line is going to satisfy the equation of the line now x here is any uh, let's suppose uh, the line passes through two and three right so whenever you you put the this is the value of x coordinate and this is the value of y coordinate whenever you put 2 in the value of x and whenever you put 3 in the value of y you going this uh, equation is going to satisfy all all the parts right so this is the general form of the equation you don't need to do any more forms however this is required this is more than sufficient for uh, prepar preparing for exams like gmat sat and GRV and CAT. So this is the equation of line that you must be knowing, right? This is uh, this is very important. So every line has its unique equation, and every point on the line satisfies the equation of the line. Fine, right? Let's just do one simple question. We'll be doing the complex questions in the further videos. This is just the basic of the uh, coordinate geometry. So if the equation of the line is this, then what it what is its slope? Now we have the equation of line is like this. So let me just rewrite the equation. The equation of the line is 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. Now what I have to do is I just have to bring it to its general form and from that I can easily calculate what is the slope or what is the intercept of the equation. Now 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 if I say 3y is equal to negative of 2x plus 7. So what I did here, I just brought this 2x to this side and if I bring the 3 to this side, I can say that y is equal to minus 2 upon 3x plus 7 by 3. Now this is the general form of the equation where y is equal to mx plus c okay now from this you can easily say that the slope is equal to negative 2 by 3 and y intercept or the intercept is equal to 
7 by 3, right? So now you can say that that line passes through 0 and 7 by 3, fine? Right? So this is one of the points through which line definitely passes and uh, and this is the slope of the line, right? So from just one equation, you can calculate a lot of things, right? Now this was just about the general form of the equation, right? What I want is, I want you to go ahead and watch the further videos where I'll be telling you more about slope, more about the intercepts, more about complex questions, fine? So this was about this concept. Uh, thank you very much and uh, see you next video.